going. All right, hey guys, this is Steve again, SynthoTech.com, and um, I've just added some more features now to our PT2399 dev board. It's really fully functional now. I'd say it's a pretty cool delay, and it sounds really clean. Not a lot of noise or anything. So um, what I showed you yesterday was this, kind of like this feedback mod that we put in here. <laughs> And I'm calling that now the Feed Blast mod because it's not really true feedback. What I did do though is I did add an actual feedback pot here by connecting some pins on the rear of the board here. Um, as you can see, um, I've added actually a couple different mods. This is going to the center pin right here of the mix pot, the 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 50k, um, uh, the uh, the delay k, uh, the delay pot. Excuse me, is 20k. So this is going to, from the center pin to um, one of the leads. It looks like here on R11. So um, the 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 top lead here of R11 is being connected via a 50k linear pot to the center. Um, pin here on or the, the the center pin here on our 50k pot. So check out this. This is actually like really real feedback. It's from the you can see it's getting longer. And if we crank it, it starts going in a nutty land. So it's really distorted, but you can you can you can dial that back and it has a really nice feedback sound. All right, um, so and obviously we can still affect the, the length of our delay and all that stuff. Okay, and I've added another mod here called the warp switch, and that is connected between um, one of the leads of the 20k pot here, one of, one, one of the one of the uh, polar leads here, to the other side here, um, the, the negative side lead of, it's not really negative because of course it is a ceramic pot, uh, excuse me, ceramic capacitor. However, it is still connecting here to, um, it looks like C15 where the negative lead part would be if it was really a polarized piece, but it's not. Anyway, that switch gives it kind of this weird warpy kind of vibro noise that's really cool. So I'll show that to you right here. You gotta hear that. Really kind of weird. Show some feedback on there. Um, I added also the feet blast in there. So anyway, there, I'm going to show some instructions online about how to do this. This ends up being a really fully functional delay with a really weird, with that warp, um, the warp switch here, uh, the feed blast, and the feedback. Um, and obviously, you've got delay, time, and mix here. And so it gets to be a pretty fully functional thing. I think we're going to make this into an actual guitar pedal as well as a little standalone synth deal because it ended up being a really cool. So check out online for the instructions on the mod. Um, pretty easy, but again, really fun.